Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another Whiskey Tube Roundtable. This time we've got a blind tasting today. It's a, my first time doing a blind tasting properly with a group of people. So we'll see how we get on today. Uh, these have all been personally selected by me and sent out to four other YouTubers and six went out to guys in the chat as well. So hopefully there'll be some people playing along. Um, I haven't decided whether I'm going to share the link to these yet in the chat or not, but we'll see how we get on with that because uh, what I want to do is give these guys every opportunity to go through uh, the standard format as best we can. But um, yeah, hopefully it's going to be uh, an interesting one. Uh, Greg's saying 71 people watching already. That's insane, insane. So um, hopefully people like watching a, uh, a a blind tasting. So hopefully we'll, we'll do all right. But yeah, no clues, no clues on this. Uh, what I'll do then, as always, we'll say hello to the uh, the very active chat, which I'm going to have to actually expand down a little on the screen. Um, also, this is going to be a very admin heavy stream. So uh, when I get the guys in, hopefully they'll chat amongst themselves to a certain extent as well. It's not really going to be interview structure like it has been on the past ones. Uh, OK, then. So we had some early people in today, which is good. We had David Barnes in and we had Charlie Holmes in. Nice one with um, David Owen in. Jason Whiskey Wise. Amazing. We always need to meet up, don't we, Jason? But we ne never quite manage it. So hopefully we'll, uh, we'll we'll get that done this year sometime. Uh, we've got Pete Heads in. Graham's in. Graham's one of the guys who's going to be tasting in the chat today. So uh, hopefully he'll get some reactions in there. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, Justin Wan, Julian, nice one. Ben, Demon Hunter, excellent. Thank you very much. Greg, of course, mentioned him earlier, so he's in. Uh, Kodja is another guy who's going to be doing the tasting, as well as Amy, as well. Amy Barrett's in. She's going to be doing the tasting as well. Jeff, of course, with the spanner. Jeff's going to be on screen in just a bit. Um, God, there's so many people. Wow. Rob Smith is in. Thank you very much, buddy. Uh, we'll keep scrolling. Again, as always, if you want to... Um, ask questions and not whatnot then don't forget to at me it's uh it's going to go by quick today so we'll see what happens but i'm going to be flicking between screens and whatnot meno is in yes that's the only thing that is missing from these streams right it's a quiz but um i do so poorly at the quizzes that i've decided not to not to add them to my own one but maybe if i wrote them then i wouldn't have to take part in them right everyone would get a 10 out of 10 if it were me tim's in uh we've got Lachlan in as well amazing um boss wardrobe's in drinks whiskey is in andrew butler is in um, I just saw Dan go nuts at the camera down off uh, in the green room there. So I guess that's a Somerton guy. <laughs> um, we have, keep going, Derek is in. Uh, Wraith is in. Oh, my God, there's so many people. If I miss your name, I'm so sorry. Reb's in, nice one. He just got an advert. Yes, yeah, sorry, buddy. These uh, streams are um, are on ads. But, um, yeah, uh, do feel free to become a patron subscriber, and I'll take it off, I promise. <laughs> cheeky cheeky uh whiskey whereabouts is in nice one thank you very much um what else do we have oh it just skipped on me uh we, we might have to get onto it because i don't want to be wasting too much time going on this we've got a lot of content to get through a lot of content to get through. but yeah anyway the point is thank you very much everyone for joining in uh what i'm going to do first then is i'm going to bring in the um the two uh old hats that have been on this show before ben and jeff so i will uh unmute ben and add him in um and i will unmute jeff and bring him in there we go ben and jeff how you doing guys very good mate i don't appreciate the term old hat though to be fair <laughs> yeah it's i can't say it with uh, with you guys because you are both younger than me but um yeah you, you guys are uh, three for three now right on the on, on the stream so congratulations yeah, for that the hardcore lot the people you're trying to get rid of and we're not taking the hint mm -hmm. yeah absolutely so much so that um, actually a bit of admin up front is that um, next month's one, um, the whole point of this uh, th this dynamic was that I wouldn't be the one who is in charge of it. It would literally be a round table that anybody could take part in and anyone could host. And Ben is going to host. Ben is going to host the next one in uh, in April. What, what date did we agree on? I've already forgot. 23rd, oh shit! That's a bloody 23rd, question. Twenty third, I think we said, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> scrolling um something like yeah 23rd um times yeah. to be decided guests to be decided theme to be decided or or can we say the theme i suppose we could say the theme couldn't we yeah might as well it's, it's st george's day uh, the 23rd so i think we're gonna hit some english whiskey so uh yeah a stream not to be missed but look out for uh all of our feeds to get the adverts for that and um of course make sure you go and follow ben at scotch photographer there's links in the description below to his channel because that's where it's going to be so make sure you go and subscribe to him and uh and you know all of us but yeah okay without further ado you go we, we all know who you are so let's bring in the first one uh let's let's bring in dan 
This is Dan, everybody. Hi, Dan. Hi, how you everyone. doing? I'm good, thank you. Really looking forward to it. It's nice to have someone else picking the whiskies for me. Yeah, it's a, it, it kind of gives me a bit of a, um, a an intro into how hard this kind of thing is because I, you know, it's it was a real struggle to get what I wanted within a kind of budget and get it all out the door. And uh, I think I said to Roy recently as well, like actually sampling these up by hand is an absolute nightmare. Um, did not enjoy that at all. But um, for, for those who don't know, Dan runs the Summerton Club uh, and also Whiskey Pioneer, which is some of the bottles that everyone's got. That's part of that. Um, but also uh, you kind of get away with being here because of your foray into uh, putting videos on YouTube, right, for the club. So, Yes, apart from when I met Ben last year at the festival, he uh, uh, it was Toby, I think, more. I'm like, you just do them in one take, don't you? Like, yes. Yeah. Sorry. I just like to share what's going on in the in the life of Summerton during that week or two. And if I have to say it, say it four or five times and go over it again, it won't come out. No, I'm exactly the same. All of mine are pretty much one take uh, and I will do minimal editing. But yeah, I mean, of course you do your, you used to do anyway, your online festivals and whatnot. So um, more than valid in the space, more than valid in the space. Oh, no, thank you for having me. I, uh, yeah, I'm enjoying trying these whiskies and uh, sharing the evening with yourselves. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully it'll be surprising. So we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Finally, then I'll, uh, I'll bring in Roy. There he is. Up in the top corner. I don't know why it's put you up in the top corner, but there you are. <laughs> How are you doing? Hello. I am very well. A bit stressed. A bit stressed. There's a, there's a lot going on on my screens right now, so we'll we'll see how we get on. Well, you've got some backup, so don't yeah. be stressed, buddy. We're here to support and help. Looking forward to it. What a nice way to spend a Tuesday night. I know a Tuesday, right? It's a bit uh, a bit of an odd day to pick, I guess, but um, it, it it fit with me this this month. So, and that was the whole point of this as well. It's that. Some guys in like the states and whatnot could host this, and they could host it any time they like. You know, is the truth because a lot of them don't get to attend this. But um, yeah, if you're watching on the replay, hello everybody. But um, yeah, well, Roy, go on, tell us about yourself. Who who are you, and what do you do? If people don't know, everyone must know, surely. I'm Roy Aquaviti, so I host a weekly V Pub on YouTube. It's a V V Pub virtual pub. Uh, can go on it's long form content it goes out on a thursday night from quarter to 10 to try and catch obviously people across europe but obviously perhaps north america too um i'm also the founder of Dramface and co-founder of the online scotch whiskey awards uh, so yeah i keep myself busy in whiskey <laughs> and i love it it's a privilege i absolutely love it and i get to have pals like you guys as well which is a huge bonus absolutely yeah well, like, oh you pals i don't know if you'd call me a pal <laughs> definitely i mean me and you have known each other right from the start pretty much of what of me doing my thing and you doing your thing so yeah well you were a, you were before me buddy and Just about. We, always talk, we always talk about it but i think we should always talk about it and never forget it that you were my 11th subscriber <laughs> absolutely yeah, I'm not even sure what happened as well. I just went trawling um, for other channels because there was a, a very few English guys or British guys, just to say, sorry, um, doing it at the time. Uh, it was mostly American guys. And um, and uh, yeah, it just, when I found found you doing it, I was like, subbed, let's do it. But I mean, obviously the quality was there right from the start, even before there was no no subscribers. It was- uh... Ah, bless you. <laughs> Oh, brilliant. Well, it's good to have you here anyway, mate. And um, to, to be able to do a blind tasting for you is a privilege. So, um, Well, yeah, I think you... it's worth notice, not, noting as well that the first ever uh, YouTube blind challenge that went out was also you took it. You were the first guy to step up. Very brave. You had no clue what was in the glasses. You recorded yourself and put it. It's still out there for posterity now. So uh, this is revenge, Vin. Let's be honest, isn't it? <laughs> Well, it's like I said to the other guys, you know, this this one was um, it's really hard to, to put some drams together because you can either put five that are very similar together. And actually, I think that's probably more challenging um, yes. or you can make them so diverse that it's really easy to pick out which ones are which. Yeah. So I've gone somewhere in the middle of that. Yes, I you guess. Have. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the, it's bookended, let's say. <laughs> and, um, but hopefully it's not designed to be challenging. It's designed to just be kind of interesting and hopefully put a few of you out of your comfort zone a little bit maybe probably fair to say um although you, uh, i've got some of your choices in already and they're all very interesting which i won't reveal until later so that, that, that's just pre preferences is that okay. a polite way of saying they're all interesting they're all way off 
well, so you can't be way off on your preferences, right? So yeah, I think you can. Yeah, Disagree. I mean, yeah, you can be well off with your preferences. <laughs> I, one thing is that is interesting to me is that um, it, as with as with Roy's uh, blinds as well is that there are it's there's a definite inverse between uh, between preferences here. Like um, some of you really like some that other people really don't like. So what you're saying is Jeff drinks shite. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's any saying? argument. Is that what we're saying just from the rip, yeah? <laughs> you have to be careful, Ben, because you'll end up synced with Ben, with, with Jeff, sorry, and then you'll... Uh, hundred, Yeah, 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 100%. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my, my opinions on some of these are pretty um, pretty strong. Well, definitely on one of them, it's, it's pretty strong. Yeah, so. uh, Ben's texting me saying that, I won't say which one, but he said one of them is, quote, unquote, pure shite. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I've not found that one. I don't find any of them pure shite. No. But I do, I do think you've given us definition. So I'll thank you for that. Whether it helps us or not. <laughs> yeah, indeed, indeed. Um, I guess at the moment, then, I, Ben, I'm just waiting for your preferences because I don't think you've given me that directly, have you yet? Um, I think shite gave you the example yeah. at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, indeed. <laughs> They, they were, what, Ben? Ben, yeah, you, Ben. Yeah, I gave you my preferences. Did you? Well, yeah, but you've put, like, a, uh, in, not in order, you've just given me, like, good, not good. Oh, I I've mean, just got to work they, that sorry, out, I, they, they were kind of my preferences, but <laughs> I'll, I'll put them in a more formal. Make it easy for me. Uh, Roy, did I, I, I get your like ABVs? How, um, I was saying uh, previously, uh, earlier, that, First taste through, I know exactly what this is. I know what order they're in. I know where, where I think the ABVs are. And I gave it five minutes. I went back in, wrote down my next set of answers, and I compared the two. And, um, yeah, you'd think I was tasting five completely different drams. Yeah. Yeah, yep. absolutely. Um, okay, then. Well, so for the benefit of the people uh, watching, then, um, I've not really kept up with the chat at all. Sorry, guys. But I'll look for I'll look out for Orange, I promise. Um this is going to be fairly similar to what we normally do, what Roy normally does, in the fact that we will be doing some challenges and then we'll do a semi-reveal and then we'll do a full reveal across the, the spectrum. But I've, I've also added in a bit of a curveball of five bonus points for getting the ABV plus or minus 1%, um, which, which I'll I'll bring up. So, yeah, if you were within, like, you know, if your guess was 42% and it's a 43% whiskey, then I'll give you the point for that. But... Um, giving the answers that I've had so far, that's still been a challenge. So good. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> Is there so, a chance yeah. that we get them all wrong and the order, everything of it wrong? Um, so, well, obviously you can't get your preferences wrong because that's you, but yes, there's, there is an absolute possibility that you'll get all of the challenges wrong. And if you then get all of them wrong and confuse yourself and get locked in, when I do the semi reveal, you try too hard to match them. And that can also be all wrong. Um, the big problem with these blind tastings is that if you get one wrong on the semi, then you've got two wrong. Because yep. a set so, yeah. of five, it's always going to happen. Can we all just take a moment to enjoy the fact that we haven't got anything wrong yet? <laughs> yeah. And we're all feeling probably a wee bit anxiety, but quite comfortable. <laughs> and we're, we're not Happy getting anything wrong. Now. Yeah, it's definitely not confidence I'm feeling right now. <laughs> nah. I think it was from doing one of yours actually Roy you were just like it's fun you you really put me at ease about the whole like it's not a competition it's you know it's just everyone having fun it's more about like you know teaching yourself what it is you like and I was like yeah cool so now every time I go into a blind I'm just like doesn't matter well well <laughs> I tell you it's you're, you're spot on Ben and I, I don't think anyone's even despite the amount of red faces I've had live and recorded and on other people's things it's nobody's ever come up to me and said you're rubbish at this <laughs> uh, you know even although we all we all have to reserve the right to be absolutely rubbish and every now and again because the broken clock theory right we will get something right but it doesn't mean we've cracked it <laughs> it's just mean we've been lucky enough to spot something or pick something out i think there's genuinely people out there with fantastic palettes but i don't think i've met anyone who's super confident and goes into brain blind tastings with swagger, right? We, we all just have to treat it as fun. Absolutely. Yeah. 
absolutely i think uh, going back to what you said earlier roy about me me doing the first uh whiskey tube blind challenge um as i've always said with these things that i got it i, I aced it and i got a, a bit of a, a rep for being able to do that and i've never been able to replicate that on screen or off screen and uh, to the point where it's been diabolical um probably closest i got to a, a 10 out of 10 was maybe a six uh and that, that to be fair that's considered pretty good but um yeah there are guys especially in in, in the circles of, uh, of 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 yourself that ace it more often than they don't which is um yeah pretty incredible man there's some pretty incredible uh, palettes coming out so much diversity in whiskey though it's it's folly to consider that you can chase it it's you just need to enjoy it and try and try and go with just do the best you can <laughs> absolutely and if you get it all wrong just enjoy drinking the stuff <laughs> without a doubt um but in addition to the guys on screen we've also got uh well i sent six sets out but i think one guy um has has been poorly today so he's not going to be joining um so anyone who uh, i think i've got uh, uh amy graham and mark hopefully you're all watching if you are then if you can send me your uh preferences and your abvs that would be ideal because what i want to do is get the abvs locked in before the challenges really um if i can do that um, if not, don't worry about it because it's the guys on screen that um, that we're going to be getting going with. But um, yeah, hopefully that'll be interesting. Um, I wanted to ask as well, everyone in the chat, um, do you think I should share a link to the list? Can the people on screen and off screen be trusted not to click it? I can absolutely be trusted. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> I, I, like, I, can, I can in theory until it's all going to shit and then I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> but I think I don't have the acting skills to know and pretend I don't know. So if you think you can do that, Ben, go ahead and click. <laughs> but you might find you get busted. Oh, 100%. Yeah, absolutely. It's um yeah, and for me as well. Like if I suddenly pulled a ten out of ten out of my ass, I think people would know that I picked the link. <laughs> <laughs> I am just tapping in somebody's uh, tapping in Graham's results, so bear with me. Um, yeah, hopefully this is going to be a good one. Um, uh, the people, I don't, I don't know what the count is watching anymore. It's all, it's all, it's all too much to keep track of. <laughs> 90, I mean, 99 of like, watching. 99. Yeah, it's, let's let's break a hundred. Why uh... would you do that, Roy? Because I always get nervous. So <laughs> I've I've specifically gone into Inspect Element and deleted the thing that shows the count of people. So I don't know how many people are watching. So I oh. don't get nervous. Yeah, I think you only get nervous if you care too much about it. Um, it's more just making a tit of myself in front of a load of yeah, strangers on the yeah. internet, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. But like I say, I mean, whiskey's teaching us all a bit of humility, right? And blind, whether it's blind tasting or making an idiot of yourself live on YouTube. Um, aye, you, you're, you're right, I understand it. There's anxiety comes with watching the numbers, but once you've done it for a while and you realise that you do it, you based on what you enjoy rather than what is popular does that i don't know if that makes sense yeah so when, once you digest that then you don't really mind what the numbers are they become incidental yeah. one of us has been doing a lot longer than the other <laughs> <laughs> all i'll say ben as a man who's made a channel purposely making a tit out of myself it's not that bad <laughs> yeah. and i just jeff you've got one of the best channels out there buddy i just yeah, it's just it's ridiculous. It's I'll ridiculous. slip your fiver later. <laughs> yeah, I just it's uh, yeah, it's humility and the color of it all, the humor, the comedy. Right, there's a space for us for us all, right? And like, here's let's raise a wee glass to make an attempt of ourselves. It's not a bad thing to do, is it? <laughs> as long as there's a glass of whiskey in front of us. <laughs> that was a lovely ting. Whoever sent that off, mm. I like that. Mm. Well, uh, it was against the camera lens, which is <laughs> awful. <laughs> Definitely not an expensive yeah. clink. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Very can I change my order, please? Because I've just picked oh, one Daniel. to still drink it with, and now that was my least favourite. Now it's my favourite. Dan, just commit because you're going to be wrong. <laughs> just commit anyway. <laughs> I have. I've put it in. You've got. But... I see it as you've got. My yeah. thing. Do it. I think I've changed mine two or three times now. Yeah, I'm I'm nearly finished with my uh, with my ABV admin. So uh, if you if you want to change it, who's, 
Who have we lost? Nah, don't you? worry. It's not going to get much much more accurate. It's just I've now got a new <laughs> favourite. And I think it was number five or number four in, in what I've sent in. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, we've lost Jeff. Jeff's uh, internet's cut out. So uh, I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna give him a minute. I know this is um, piss poor TV guys, but um, we're gonna give him a minute to come in before I reveal the challenges. So I want to give everybody. Ample I think opportunity. he's. I think he's back in the green room now. Is he? I, oh. can, I can see Jeff. I think oh, he just oh, when he gets like enough packet loss, he just drops from the stream, but he stays in the green room. There he is. Right. If that happens again, someone prod me. <laughs> because it's, it's the west. It's the west country. Yeah, I'm lucky to have internet down here. To be fair. Did you have to just go down and crank the router up a bit more? <laughs> That's a different stream. <laughs> right. We're nearly, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. Okay. Um, so what I'll do then is I will share my, uh, my my rubbish little slideshow that I've done. Oh, look, there you go. Hopefully everyone can still see us. We're all just plucking around. And, yeah, so just to tell, remind everybody that uh, there's a bonus point for this. I'm going to reveal that later um, so that you're not – kind of guided in any way shape or form by your, your choices which leads us on to the challenges first one you might want to write these down but i'll leave them up on the screen challenge number one is guess the blended scotch um so for the guys watching uh who are taking part um these challenges are mutually exclusive so there is only one blended scotch in the group blended malt or blend the all the all the information is on the task. <laughs> <laughs> Number two is guess the peated Highlander. So as with all of these uh, challenges, you might need all five before you start chucking guesses around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have answered the same one for two now. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the good thing about this is that, um, I, I mean, I'm not going to be keeping score on this, so you'll be scoring yourself. So uh, your, your honesty is perfect. Score! Yeah. <laughs> what Roy normally does, and this is where I think I might have screwed up, is that he does colours, coloured dots, whereas I've done numbers. So he makes everyone hold them up on screen so that we can pause that later and go back and check for cheats. But I didn't do that. So. Well, we, we can still do that with pieces of with our notes or whatever. I don't... Yeah, true. Whatever. We're all honest people, right? We're all honest people. Um, second one, uh, third one, then is guess the only OB single malt. So all of these are, you know, it's going to be tough, guys. It's going to be tough. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I, I this this was the hardest part of it for me. It was trying to decide what to do as challenges to before making them too easy or too hard or whatever. So only only one of these is an official bottling from a producer. Correct. Single malt. Okay. Good. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> Fourth is guess the new oak single barrel. I could give you clues on that, but does the yeah. word barrel not give you a clue? Uh, no, that's just me. I like to say barrel. I could have said cask. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, I, I I don't know the size of it. Um, although, uh, do you know what? I'll, I will give you a clue. On the label, it does say cask type barrel. So there you go. <laughs> do with what? Do with that what you will. <laughs> Thank you. Confuse me a bit more. Yeah. Uh, number four then is guess the North American sherry cask. Oh, you bastard! Yep. I know this one. I know the. Oh, actually, I don't know which. Oh, bugger! I thought I knew which one it was, but then there's two of them. I think. Yep. You have no idea how many of these. I was like, oh, yeah, I know what that one is. And then the next one, I'm like, oh, it could be literally either of those two, either, yeah. especially the bottom two. Mm. And can we can we just specify that when we speak about North American, where that's describing the oak rather than the sherry? <laughs> uh, so that is, that is describing the continent. Where it's distilled. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, sorry. Uh, good, good clarification point. Yeah, Mexico, okay, good. America, Canada. Good. Is there another yeah. one? One, one of those. Geography? Yeah. <laughs> Is geography bigger than that? Oh. <laughs> yeah, and again, you can read into that as you like because, uh, yeah. Wow. Um, 
there you go. There's the challenges. So I'll leave them on the screen for a minute. And um, I, at the risk of dead air, these guys are going to want to squirrel away and think about it for a for a bit, I imagine. Um, but I need to get Graham's ABVs onto my list, and I can't find them again. On the play uh, elevator music. Do, 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 do. Have you got your uh, your guitar there, Ben? <laughs> He needs to I'm concentrate. Not, I'm, not, I'm not really in the position to be having a shred. <laughs> <laughs> Back against the wall, getting uh, blind tasted. Okay, no, I found this. I found this thing now. Um, and that for that. Tough, tough. Okay. So, how are we feeling about this, guys? Anyone happy? Anyone not happy? <clears throat> I'm less happy than I was five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I'm completely clueless right now. Yeah, I'm not having a good time. <laughs> then your neck. Yeah, well, like I said, it wasn't my intention to be really uh, banana skinny, but um, I may have in unintentionally done so. <laughs> But we'll see. Oh, um, what I will say at this point. So you, the idea here is not to is not to guess the bottles. You can guess the bottles, but you don't have to guess the bottles if you don't want to. There's no points for for getting that right at this stage. Because what I'll do next is the semi reveal, and that will show you the bottles, which will either curveball you or not. Um, what I'm going to do is take off. Is ever has everyone on uh, the chat got their um, challenges written down? I'm going to take them off for now. If you want me to put them back up again, I will. Okay, just so that we're all, all, right. uh, we're all full screen again. I'm locked in. Yeah, Ben sent me his, but you, you don't need to send me these. Um, thank you for doing so. That gives me. I've got nowhere else to write them down. I opened my phone. The first thing in my WhatsApp, the first thing on my phone was my WhatsApp to you. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where they're going. The man doth not have a pen. <laughs> um, no. Well, I do. It's in a drawer that's arm's reach. Well, good. Well, if you're finished, then me and you can have a chat while everyone else is uh, is doing a thing. So, um, Ben, live stream next month. You excited yeah, but... about it? You happy about it? Of course, I am. You did a couple I, before you before you yeah, you kind of paused the channel a bit, didn't you? Oh, sorry, I was completely distracted by the fact you're tanning a Schoffer Hoffer. Yeah. And I have no Schoffer Hoffer at the minute. I've That's not it. had Schoffer Hoffer in the house for ages. And what really annoys me is at the back of my fridge, I've got four cans of tenants. And every time I open the fridge, I see four yellow cans at the back. And I'm like, I'm go I remember I've got Schoff. I've got Schoff in the fridge. And I go down and open the fridge. And I'm disappointed to open it up and find out they're fucking tenants. <laughs> yeah, gutted. I mean, it, it's the the reason why I drink this is your fault because you um you got me onto this in uh, in the pot store, I want to say. But um, yep. my um the, the thing with me about it is, I mean, I like to have I've got a water as well. But when I'm doing live streams, I like to be hydrated, and because this is so low in ABV, this is basically hydration, right? <laughs> Isn't, Isn't that the, the one that's Germany, fruit juice? Like, sorry, gone. Yeah, it's it's fifty percent wheat beer and fifty percent grapefruit juice, and it's so it comes out as two point five percent, and it's absolutely banging. Get a little um, bit older, then, and that will be strong. <laughs> I, I mean, if I carry on the way I'm going with whiskey, I doubt it. <laughs> I, 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 whiskey and drinking beers are completely different. Years ago, I went to Le Mans, and we were racing our livers. As it felt like drinking their four percent beer. Can you drink it quick enough before you pee it out to get drunk? Now. I have three, four percent beers. I'm all over the shop. <laughs> so uh, yeah, enjoy it whilst you do. You can. Thing Absolutely. Is, for years though, I'll take a, a if I go to a barbecue, and I know I'm going to be there from like three o'clock in the afternoon till one o'clock in the morning or whatever. I'll take like three packs of those little stubbies, like the 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 three percent stubbies, because mm. you can rattle them all day. You'll never get like super steaming on them unless you have to really go some to get super steaming. But they're delicious. They're actually really nice tasting beer. Mm. And it's not in a can, so it doesn't get warm. There's nothing worse than having like a big old can. 
You're sitting around drinking that. You get halfway down it. It's warm. It tastes like piss. You don't want to bit it because you're not an animal. So you end up just chugging the lot of warm beer and you don't want to do that. Whereas little stubbies, if there's a little bit left, it gets a bit warm. You don't mind chugging a little bit of that because you know you've got so many in the fridge of these cold stubbies. Session strength. Session. Yeah, that yeah, session yeah, that's like session beer. But then I think with like the craft beer revolution, now a session beer is anything below sort of five point five. Yeah, I hate that. It just doesn't work anymore. I went uh I was walking in the Malvern Hills and we found the pub that had a really nice craft session beer at three point two percent. Like, this is my pub. This is just where I want to stay. Nowhere else does that. So I uh, best day ever, and I've never found that beer again. It was just in that one pub. Do you know what it was called? It be, it was big something. I can't remember now. I can tell you, my friend drank Cronenberg all day, and he doesn't remember getting home. <laughs> <laughs> We've all out. been there. We've all been there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm locked in. Amazing. Okay, so I've got, I've got answers from uh, Ben. Um, we've had one from uh, the people playing. I should uh, shout them out as well. We've got uh, Big Bam Pete playing. We've got um, Kodja, Whisk, uh, Whisk Amy Away, uh, Amy Barrett, Graham and Mark. Um, so that's good. They're, they're locking in. Um, I'm not keeping track of that. So uh, that's all you guys being honest when I reveal them. Because what, what will happen now is when I do the semi-reveal, we're actually blasting through which is good. Um, when I do the semi-reveal, it should be it, it should be obvious which they how they link to the, the challenges sort of yeah uh, and then that's up to you then to decide whether you thought you were right or if now you've got to do a rejig to save yourself some points which is a valid thing to do i have to do that every time which is why i never get a, a, a clear score anymore because uh, so it's possible to get like a seven out of ten by doing that if you if you can reclaim it right roy <laughs> <Just about. laughs> yeah uh, basically, my strategy right now is just to commit based yeah. on second guessing, always kind of the wheels wobble and fall off. Mm -hmm. But I know that as soon as these things start to get revealed, that's mm -hmm. when I'll probably wish I, I didn't, I did second guess and the wheels are wobbling. And so just, just bring it on. Bring it on. Yeah. Yeah. One of the, I think probably one of the hardest, um, the hardest. Light, uh, tastings of a blind taste I've ever done was the live one I did in Glasgow with you because you sat around a table of six people and you're competing as a team so uh, you, you, as soon as one person goes oh yeah that's definitely number two and you're just like mm. and they're like no seriously it's definitely number two <laughs> yeah that's the worst because you're like is everything I know a lie I'm yeah. so <laughs> sure about that one and then yeah. you change and then I mean obviously if it's wrong you're just like your dick obviously yeah. every everyone gets on everyone's friends it's all fun and games but also you're a dick <laughs> i think the um the, or the best... you were absolutely wrong from the rip and you're just like oh you, you, I, yeah i don't remember whether i got that one right initially but i, I got it right that time but yeah. there has been uh, uh, someone at all the tasting events and last year it was two or three people managed to score a clean 10 out of 10 mm -hmm. and they probably had to use their conviction to confidently say this for these reasons and i'm sure and and that must be a hard thing to do too for you to know the responsibility that's on your shoulders for the entire team staring you down <laughs> yeah i don't envy it i don't envy it maybe next year when you can host it and i'll sit at a table how do you feel about that well, we'll see how this goes, right? Um, because uh, <laughs> if, if you guys all hate me at the end of this, then uh, maybe not. Um, I, I was going to say one thing about that tasting as well. The funny thing about that was, like, ob obviously a couple of them were peated. And I was like, this one doesn't, it feels kind of lightly peated. But then one of them came through as, like, Lafroig 10. And everything I knew about whiskey went out the window because that's, like, it's, it's so peated. That, but I was just like, all of these are lightly peated. Yeah, but the Lefroy 10, you'll remember, they were both uh, 1990s bottlings of Lefroy 10. Oh, of course they were. So they, they were ancient. They were the duck blue egg foil seal ones on the top. And I bought them both at the same shop at the same time and kept them for years. So I knew they were both the same batch and everything. So I could do it for a room of 60 people. But yeah, that was a very soft Lefroy 10. You're spot on. Mm. You're spot on. Yeah. Yeah. And it confused me. 
Um, I should do a quick shout out as well. It just popped up on the screen that um, Justin Wands became a supporter. Thank you very much, buddy. That's uh, really cool. And that's the, I think that popped up on the on the on the stream as well, which is something that I um, added with OBS, which is I'm I'm getting there. I'm getting there You're with OBS. Pro. You're such a pro streamer. <laughs> well, I just um, you know I, I couldn't bear to pay this, the the uh, streamyard prices anymore. Elevated. Yeah. Streamyard man, so <laughs> expensive. It's it's useful. It's really useful. But for one stream a month, it's no good. It's yeah, no Streamyard is my best friend. Yeah, yeah. Oh. It, it would be mine if I was doing um, one and a bit streams a week as well. I think so. It's uh, yeah, but yeah, for yeah. one, it's just yeah, too much, too much. Okay, um, I was looking for Amy's ABVs, which I think I've got. Yes, I'm just going to type them in quickly before we go on to the next bit. Um, bear with me, guys. Sorry bad air but um yeah i think we're all good everyone's locked in right yeah yeah dan yep i'm in sweet okay let me bring up my extremely no nonsense slideshow okay semi reveal are you all ready <laughs> yeah I'm, now, I'm trying not to giggle at the childish nature of the phrase semi reveal semi <laughs> 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 Stand up slowly. <laughs> you, you, Sorry, you won't like the, you won't like the uh, final reveal then either. Um, <laughs> the, um, so these are being revealed in alphabetical order. They're not the order, or I should say, possibly not the order that um, they are in one to five. Okay, oh, I'm a bit yeah. nervous about this. I'm a bit nervous. Okay, the first bottle then is a black bottle, ten year old. <sighs> oh no. So I'm just going to let that sit there for a minute. <laughs> I have noted down Black Bottle, but... Ooh. And I think I've put it at the one I like... The, oh, no, I can't say... Can I say that? You can say what you want. I put it down for my least favourite, because I've been slamming Black Bottle for a long time, because I've not got on with it. I so like hoping... Black Bottle. That's the problem. <laughs> We're about to find out if you really yeah. do. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> I think, That's I think my number the crucial, one now. The crucial differentiator here is the 10-year-old. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, only had the that thirteen quid one that went on sale maybe a couple of years back. Yeah, whatever the entry is. Yeah, so the, I mean, the thing about this one is that it's. Uh, I mean, I did write down the current prices. I should say as well, that all of these were available until literally yesterday. One of them is sold out on on Master of Mart. I think you can find it elsewhere. But this is twenty a twenty five quid bottle. So, okay, okay, Are you ready for bottle number two? Yeah. The Glen Caddam, Reserva, Andalusia. Wow. I've got a bottle of that home. I haven't opened it yet. I literally, I just I just got that the other day. Like, ah! Why not open it now? <laughs> well, it depends where it ranks, right? It, yeah. If it ranks highly for you, then... Uh, then... The one, yeah, actually, if it's the one I think it is, I, I'm all right. I'm all right with that. Well, see, this is where it gets, it gets a struggle, right? Because um, these two here now, not to lead you in any way, shape or form... But um, they link very closely with some of these challenges. So, if you, it's whether you think you're right or not. Okay. The third bottle. Then I haven't seen anyone in the uh, in the in the chat giving me grief yet. So hopefully this is going okay for them. The third bottle then is a Master of Malt, Indiana three year old. Wow. What? And this is a uh, a, a wheated. Bourbon. Um, I no. did get. I did get Sam Simmons to give me the mash bill, and I should have brought that up. But let me. Uh... No, one of them's a bourbon. A oh, yes. bourbon. One of them is okay. a bourbon. Where is Sam Simmons? Uh, what did he tell me? <laughs> I have he a said... vein popping out the side of my head. So <laughs> it is um, fifty-one percent corn, forty-five percent wheat, it. and four percent malted barley. So it is a, a heavily wheated bourbon, which is yeah. I can pick up the malted barley in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that does explain one of them a bit better now. Yeah, well, hopefully this will all come through to it, right? So the next one then is the uh, Murray McDavid Cask Craft, and this is a uh, Masala finish Crofton Gia. You can't really see that on there, but it's there. Forty-four point five percent or something, right? 
Uh, I, don't, I was looking at the image then. I've got the bottle right here. Yeah, 44.5% <laughs> it was. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you want me to give you those ABVs as well, as I was going through, um, the black bottle is 40. Can you oh. drop them in the chat or summon? Or summon. <laughs> yes. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, because uh, you're, you're all... Just you're scribble all some comic way. sans across your <laughs> slideshow. I'm not even sure. Can I do that? Yeah. Anyway, I'll do the last bottle. Uh, the last bottle then is the That Boutique Whiskey Company Canadian Corn 8-year-old. And so there angry. go that all the twisted. wheels are rattling and falling off with that review. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now I will say because you can see the you can see the bottle there. If you're eagle-eyed and you know this one, you will get a bit of extra information. So for the sake, for the sake of people that can't see that, the eight-year-old Canadian corn is a sherry cask. If that helps anybody at all, it, I mean it will. But basically, yeah. every single one of these now should re heavily be obvious with the challenges. But whether you got that right or not, that's up to you. Okay, I'm actually. <clears throat> I'm upset about it, but I think I'm locked in. Okay. Now this is where the numbers thing is going to get confusing because um, what what you'd want to do is so now you want to write down on your sheet of paper next to you whatever you want to go one two three four five the sample numbers they are and write down the bottle on the screen that you think is that. So you got you should have two separate sets of answers now. Yep. Yeah. I mean Roy Roy's old hat, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> I know how it works. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just accept I'm going to get zero and not write them down? Absolutely. I think that's the bit pessimism never leads to disappointment. That's Is a that... good strategy, Dan. Yeah. yeah. Let's go with that. Let's hope that I got one of them right in the first bit before I knew what was coming, and then I'm gonna get me some points. Right, you. Yeah. So the point of these then, while while you're all squirreling away, was um, well the, the the theme was twofold. One was stuff that Vin can afford, um, and the second one was um, surprisingly inexpensive, is what I've gone for. So oh, the theme is surprisingly inexpensive. Yeah, I th I think so. I think so because that's I love all good, of all of these. That's a great theme. That's a yeah. great theme. So, um, for instance, the black bottle is one of the more expensive black bottles, but it's twenty five quid. Um, the uh, Indiana three year old is thirty pounds, still in stock. The Murray McDavid, Croft and Gia. Uh, sadly, not in stock in Master of Malt anymore, but is elsewhere. That's thirty-one pounds. They had that in the pot still for like three pound a dram or something. Yeah. They, there's a few in that range. Yeah, yeah they're all like three pound a three pound a nip in the pot still, which mm -hmm. was genuinely an absolute no-brainer for what they were. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then you've got the uh, the Canadian corn. It's part of the that BTQ Whiskey Company's core range they've got now. Um, so this should be re readily available, and this one is thirty-seven quid, and it's a it's a it's a full-size bottle, and it, traditionally they do half liters. Um, but it's interesting because it's Canadian corn, but it's fully matured in sherry cask whiskey. So, you know, I mean, hopefully that's quite obvious to you in this lineup, but it might it might well not be um, if you're not into that sort of thing. And then the most expensive one today is the Glen Caddam Reserva, which is forty-two quid. Last time I looked. Um, yeah so there you go you. i think i've got what i've got wrong way around in the last two and i can't tell which one they are <laughs> but i'm in i'm in i'm confident i'm gonna smash this i'm gonna get two out of every one okay i have, I have wow. absolutely no clue in the slightest i'm just having a good time Good. Well, I'm I'm still feeling super confident, which means I've made an absolute backside of it. <laughs> but I'm still going to enjoy the feeling of comfort. Ben, how are you feeling? I hate everything. 
<laughs> See, I, I'm not sure how this is going to go because obviously we've got two US and North American, you know, drams here, and obviously we've got a couple of Scotch heavy guys in the room. So we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, <laughs> the and I thought the um, the Croft and Gear might be a bit of a curveball as well, but we'll see. I, I mean, I took a, that's the only one I took a punt on. I will I will admit that um, because I didn't know if it was going to be any good or not. But I do love Croft and Gear, so I thought I'd buy it, and it turned out to be well. I thought it turned out to be pretty good. Whether you guys think it is or not, for the price t- price points, they're all decent whiskies. If you put if you put the value into it, mm-hmm. it's yeah, they're all good. And, and when that when that Andalusia, that Glen Cadam Andalusia came out, it was thirty five quid. Ah, it's gone up in price since. Um, it was really quite an inexpensive thing. I think twenty twenty that came out twenty twenty one. Um, so it's just kind of crept up as as the Glen Cadam range has, but it's still pretty good value, right? They've got that cask series. They've got the PX and. Uh, various other ones um yeah i mean they're absolutely smashing out the releases at the moment um like glenn callum tom and tool they're, they're, they're really going for it which is is really good to see i like that um a, a couple of distilleries i mean i, I know glenn, glenn callum is well regarded up there but they're not really a distillery that i've explored much down here and the, the the actual malt the pure malt and it's best expressed in the 10 and the 15 year old um if you can afford the 18 the 21 <laughs> The discontinued 21 and you know the purest form um and the, but there's, they're doing a lot with cask play cask match cask finishing mm-hmm. uh, but i wonder and today i don't know how you guys are feeling we're all geeks we're all enthusiasts it, it, it is a bit of a a tidal wave of choice right sometimes you just feel like not every producer has to offer everything to everyone um you just need to kind of pick what they're really good at, pick their pick the lane that they perform mm-hmm. best in. And it just I can't keep up with what's coming out of Glen Cadam and Tom until now. Um and I love both distillates, I love both distilleries. Um so it's so just a lot of it. Yeah. yeah. Is that not the whole industry really? It's just a bit yeah. it's yeah. so much and it's not just coming from where our history of it it's coming from every single part of the world and all these different flavors and three or four years ago i found it really exciting to explore this new thing that new thing that new thing that new thing that new thing and now all of a sudden hold up hold up hold up i've got a load to catch up on yet yeah and and it's and it's difficult dan isn't it because you feel like being you you feel like you're being a a real arsehole if you kind of complain about too much choice because it's it's much much better than not enough or no choice uh so but it, but it's also a case of you know we worry about the health of the industry generally and 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 try and it's really if it, if people like at the at the real geeky end of the spectrum like us f- struggle to keep up what chances your regular punters what do they have maybe that's not important to them but their black bottles another example there there's a 10 year old black bottle uh to go alongside their um there's the regular release and all the various other cask releases that they have and uh, i don't know i probably how many black bottle releases are there half a dozen i don't know <laughs> probably a lot yeah they've, they've really exploded recently they've done a couple yep. of like um cask finishes and um I've, I've been genuinely surprised by that i don't really like the standard one that much um i mean i moan about having a black bottle as well I, that really annoys me the opaque bottle but um yeah for, for inexpensive like guard whiskey that i talk about it, almost faultless almost almost but um, yeah did you say it was 25 pounds 25 quid yeah for this 10 year old yeah um wow. and they're all in that sort of vein like uh, i had one recently that was um i forget i forget what it was called now uh island smoke i want to call it it was their one of their um alchemy series and it was like 22 quid you know not not much difference between this one here but it was a, it was just an absolute peat monster. There was no depth to it, but it was just peat, which was you know if, if you're in the mood for that, then fill your glass. Yeah. Wow. Okay. How, uh, so are you guys all um, pretty much locked in on your final choices then? I'm locked in and upset. Locked <laughs> in. Well, you yeah. might not be. You might not be. Um, I think is everyone in the chat 
locked in. If you're not, I mean, then it's fine. Don't worry about it. I, I'm it's switching fine. around to. Ooh. I gave you too long to think about it, didn't I? I have second guessed, but I've only second guessed uh, my, on my third favourite and fifth favourite, and I've, sw I've switched them around. Um, Your third favourite and fifth favourite? Yeah. Okay. Well, well, that just locks me in with you to keep it above board, right? And that's the only two I've written it. I've, I've got some diagrams written on my little map. <laughs> 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 but, but that's... Uh, there's a couple of things that's just kind of falling into place as I'm speaking to you, and mm. uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just going to go with it. I've switched around to so I've either killed myself, saved myself, or made no difference whatsoever. <laughs> what, it's going to be one of the three, right? <laughs> yeah, brilliant. <laughs> okay, let's do this then. Let's bring the uh, let's bring this back up on screen. Bosh. So now we've got the full reveal, the full Monty for you, Jeff. Uh, and this will be the bottles in order with the number underneath them. All right. So mark yourself, and then I'll do some information about. I don't, I've done some little rankings so that we can see about how uh, between all of you, I've, I've done a little ranking system to see who, which bottle came out best, basically. Okay. So number one then is the Indiana three-year-old. Sick. All right. Point. That's at least one. That's at least one. <laughs> so we get a point for the ABV. Uh, yes, which I'll, I'll give you your, your yeah. scores for that in a bit. Um, we get a point Shut for... up, Dan. That's a bonus. <laughs> okay, that's, I'll just get, uh, so we get a point, point for guessing the bottle in the last so semi-reveal. Yeah, so it's, if, if you put bottle number one against the Indiana three-year-old, you've got a point. And if you put it next to the new... What did I say the challenge was? The new, the new oak... So I got one point. I'm happy with that. Good. <laughs> the, the, the trouble is, I say when you get one wrong, then you've got two wrong somewhere down the line, which is a, is a pain. But if I get two out of five on each of them, <laughs> I feel like I'm winning. Absolutely. Okay, number two then is the Canadian corn eight year old. Oh. Oh yeah, beauty. Which would have Ooh. been the North American sherry cask. Yeah, Ooh. I was an idiot. Never mind. <laughs> I locked myself in, but I, I, I actually put my I wrote my numbers down wrong. But I'm just I'm yeah I'm gonna deal with that. You're gonna, you're gonna deal with that. I thought that was number five. Oh, uh, Amy's just reminded me as well. Sorry. So the uh, yeah the challenge was the new oak single barrel. That was for number one. So if you put a number one next to that, you're okay. You're okay. Number three, then, was the Murray McDavid Masala finish. Croft oh, Gio. we are in such good shape. <laughs> <laughs> no. T-shirt will be off. I'll be running <laughs> around the room <laughs> like a maniac. <laughs> um, so this this counted as the PT Highlander? Yep. Highlander. Oh, nice. Yep. I mean, I, mean, I, I think Roy could take it from here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I can, I can, I can, I can try. <laughs> but no, I'm enjoying listening to you, fella. <laughs> um, Greg asked, uh, "Do we know what distillery it is from the Canadian?" No, is the truth. And uh, I asked Sam Simmons, the guy who's, um, you know, he's, he's the head on show, that sort of stuff, and um, he would have told me if he was allowed to, and he said, "I am not allowed to." So uh, yeah, I didn't. I don't know. Well, I, and also, I mean, he didn't tell me this, but I, I imagine the Indiana is MGP. I don't know for sure. Probably MGP. He couldn't tell me. Could neither confirm nor deny. I think it's very unlikely to be. But anyway, there's Anybody very else, little yeah. choice for both. But Absolutely. it doesn't matter. I think they're both decent wee sippers. And the prices that you've given given us there, there's nothing to complain about on them, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And, and going on about this Murray McDavid range as well, you know, they've got, they've released a whole heap of them, different distilleries, different cask finishes. So you can just jump in and pick one like me, like I did. I like Crofton Gia, so I bought the Crofton Gia. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Number four, then, is the Black Bottle. Oh, yeah, beauty. Yeah, dancer. Yeah. <laughs> so th this this could all be won and lost on the uh, on the ABVs, then, Roy. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, is, is anyone else? 
I got one. Well, I've, off, <laughs> <laughs> I've got one. All right. I'm happy. I don't want any more bloody questions from Roy. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. I'm muting the mic. <laughs> Right. Yes, uh, and as Amy says, the black bottle is the blended Scotch whiskey. That's challenge number one, which was a tough one, I thought, because there was only one peat challenge and two fairly peaty whiskies. Right, this is the black bottle was the peat was quite a peaty whiskey. Not sure what's in it. Okay, finally then was the uh, Glen Caddam Reserva and Lucia. It sounds like Roy's got ten out of ten then on that on the on the main. <laughs> Never happened. Never ever ever happened. I'm impressed. Take it, man. Take it. Yeah, that is good. Absolutely. I think I, I, think I need to leave the stream now and run up and down the street <laughs> to expend some energy. <laughs> oh, Bing, can you leave the upper sex? Oh, I need sorry, to mate. Do maths. I need to do maths and stuff. Oh, I, what did I do? I need to put that back on. Not liking this maths uh, thing. What? You got more than one point. <laughs> <laughs> not, not many more. I don't think. <laughs> okay. So one, what I can tell you, I mean, what I'll do is I, I've totted up the bonus points that each of you would have got. Um, so you can add them in if you want, um, or I can just tell you the ABV. Or rather, yeah, rather than do the maths. So Roy, you got an additional three bonus points for ABV. On what? On you, which ones? You got. Um, Indiana bang on 45%. You got um Canadian corn 0.2 out. Uh you missed three by half a percent. Yeah, <laughs> you got 40% yeah. dead on, and you got Glen Cadam as uh as as uh 50 odd percent. So yeah, three. Um oh. Ben, you got one bonus point. I hate yeah. everything. Yeah, I can tell you which if you want, but um I don't care. <laughs> uh, Jeff, I'm still having fun. So, <laughs> woo um, Jeff, you got three bonus points. Oh, get on. Dan, you, Dan, you got three bonus points. I was going to say, did he hear that? Yes, he's dancing. He heard it. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Kodja, this guy's in the chat now. Kodja, unfortunately, you've got no bonus points. Sorry, buddy. Um, Big Man Pete, you got two bonus points. If you want to know which, I'll share with you on Discord later. Um, Amy, you got one bonus point, and Graham and Mark, you got no bonus points. Oh, baby. okay. So, all that leaves me to do then is to go around the um, the room here and talk about points. Oh. And then what I'll do is I'll reveal um, how everyone voted for the uh, for the whiskies. How about that? Or should I do that first? No, let's do the points. Go on. Roy, go on then. Take the Band-Aid off. What did you get, buddy? Uh, today is a broken clock day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 13 out of 15. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I was only... I mean, I'm... Just so close to the ABV and the ones I missed. The Glen Caddam, I did not. I was quite a wee bit away, but there was there was another point to be had. I was half a point out on that Murray McDavid. Yeah, literally half a point. I, I, I was I gave it plus or minus one, and you gave forty six percent. And the uh, yeah, so it would have been yeah tough one. Forty four point five you, in the end. So, but I mean that's close. amazing. I can. I, I, there's no VPUB this week. I'm off to celebrate somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to surface until probably Sunday afternoon. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. <laughs> That's, it's definitely a broken clock thing. I, I'm just super chuffed. And I did, by the way, you can see these these are the ones I changed around. The the Canadian and the blend is one of the ones I changed around at the end because there is a wee bit of peat. Somebody was asking me about peat light tonight. No, I, my, one of my first notes that I put out you can see it there on number four. If it focuses, it says light peat. Um, mm -hmm. And that was what made me change my mind uh, to make it the black bottle instead instead of the Canadian. So, Yeah, so you you would have switched around. Um, do, do you still want to do that? Because you, you put your black bottle as third and the Canadian as fifth. Um, uh, no, my preferences are still locked in the same, okay. I think. Yeah. 
Yeah, because uh, so what I've done is a bit of a rank um, on each of them, but I'll, oh, yes, I'll go through that in a bit. Right, I'll do a little screen share. Um, ben, go on, hit me, buddy. What'd you get? Oh, five. Is that including your bonus point? Yeah, mate. <laughs> nice. What went wrong for mate. you then, mate? I mean, I mean um, <laughs> you did great. Obviously, 10 of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was the... Hang on. Let me just review my notes. No, nope, that's a completely different message. Um, <laughs> can I interject only to take points away from myself? No. Yeah. Yes. Fire no, away. Yeah. Ben, get the calculator <laughs> yeah. ready. Because only because if Vin's fallen the, the way that I do it, when you lock in the semi blind and you move on to the, the final kind of matchup, you've you've already locked in your semi blind, so you can't go back and change that with the colored sticky dots, remember? That's right. So if that rule stands tonight, I, I don't get the switch around for the semi-blind, which would make me 11 out of 15. No, no, I like having a champion in the room. <laughs> I, I mean, it's, no, it's I quite possible it's, it's, that... It's, <laughs> it's quite possible he's still got the champion with the 11, right? <laughs> yeah, but we like having someone that's just this damn good. It's like, wow, this is what we aspire to. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm okay with it. I mean, like, so on, obviously on yours, like you say, you lock in with the stickers, but um, for me... I didn't ask anybody to to lock in, lock in, I guess. So, yeah, I'm happy with it, man. Don't worry. Take it. Right. I'll just, I'll follow the rules. That's all I want to do. <laughs> so, Thank yeah, you. 11 or 13, depending on how the, everyone else does, right? <laughs> right. Yeah, pretty much. Tell us what the people outside get. Yeah. If someone else gets 12, then you got 13. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, go on then. Hit me, buddy. I've got, got four. Four. Woo! Amazing. And I am really happy. I would change my order. I, um, when I first went round, number five was my least favourite, but by the end, that's probably number one or number two. And number two, it, it number two and number five were my two that stood out by the end. Yeah, but, see, if I'd have locked in and not been able to change anything, my score would have been better. But because I went back and changed once I saw the bottles which I shouldn't have done. I should have just gone with it. Same with my preferences as well. Well, uh, no, actually, no, that's a lie. I thought, I thought, I was so convinced that one of them was one that I liked that I got upset and I switched it. <laughs> so I was like, I can't possibly hate it that much. Okay. Go on, then. Jeff, how did you do, buddy? Um, including the bonus points, it's 7 out of 15, which I'm quite happy with. Yay. Halfway, oh, halfway. I'm I'm glad I put black bottle down near the bottom in preferences because if that turned up to be my number one, I just the shame would have been unbearable. Well, it's funny you say that, but let me add that to the scene now. So oh yeah, we go. Yeah, so this this is my little diagram that I put together to show it what everyone voted for. This is this is kind of really telling, I think, because um what I did was as well I've, I've so like if, if it got voted number one, it got five points. If it got voted number two, it got um four points and so on uh and i've totted that up um and basically that's meant that the indiana became top dog today um but it's interesting how everyone is almost entirely different i don't think there's any two the same Someone it just means that wrong. there's a lot of people that are wrong <laughs> yeah yeah well, well the one thing i thought was as soon as i got these things through roy putting down the two non-scotches at last i was like bang on he, he, know, he, I think he's got this. <laughs> yeah, you, you, your lane is your lane, right? It's just. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to say that what Ben picked, that is now where where I am, having gone back over them back and forth a few more times. Yeah, I mean this this will change on a daily basis, right? I mean, I'm a, I'm a I'm a big Pete fan, but it's not every day I enjoy, I enjoy Pete, and it's not every day that I want to go to it. So, um, you know, for for me, I'm I'm not, I'm not even sure which one of these is my favourite. Um, I think I lean towards the US bottles a bit more. So I think I'd be considering the Indiana and the Canadian corn up there for me. Um, and like, and Amy is a good example. She's put both of the peated ones right down at the bottom because she doesn't like peat. Um, I'm surprised that Ben did that as well. But I, I found the theme tonight, well, as well, as well from your, inten your intentional theme, we had quite a flight of sweet whiskies. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, even that Crofton gear was quite a sweet peat, I would have to say. Um, uh, the Indiana and Canadian were certainly both very sweet. Uh, Glencadam, sweet ish, fruity and sweet. 
Uh, yeah, there was there was quite a quite a lot of sweetness tonight. Yeah, I normally notice a like a step change between Scotch and North American, but I didn't notice that at all today. Yeah, it's it's amazing what you're stripped of when you don't know what you're sipping as well. It's just <laughs> fantastic and humbling and and they aye. Uh, yeah. yeah. Without that, I mean, um, if, if you're ever lucky enough to do something like um, one, one of like Roy's live ones, for instance, where you get treated to some, some, some pretty exceptional stuff, then that, I think that's even more difficult because a lot of a lot of new releases these days are quite young. You'll notice that the the oldest whiskey we've got here is a ten year old, um, two no age statements, and an eight year old and a three year old, which is you know quite a young lineup. So it's going to be pretty heavy going. Um, whereas obviously when you get to the higher ages usually it's a little bit lighter i find anyway that's my my how my brain well, goes well the youngest the youngest one here in this lineup didn't taste like the youngest one mm. and i don't think any of us suggested that there was a theme of youth about this no, not at all. i don't think we spotted that at all so they're 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 well put together all of them yeah. I've, I've, I've been i got challenged by a mate a while ago to pick a club bottle for summerton and just put it white label give the very basics whiskey spirit abv and pretty much nothing else and i'm petrified to do it but i think it'd be such a good bottle just to share that experience with everyone the whole yeah. take away all the branding take away all of the words and just enjoy it just open it and enjoy it and then decide if this is good or bad yeah yeah I absolutely i mean you can't you can't tell if a whiskey is good by looking through the glass at it can you it's um, yeah, you know. I mean, um, I, think, I, I think about branding and our preconceptions of what comes behind the brand. Everything like that feeds into our enjoyment in a glass, and you can't really strip. You can't. You can't force people to blind taste forever because it does strip away a ceremony of of knowing what you're drinking and the privilege of what you're drinking, especially if it's something special or whatever. But I think now and again, especially when so much money is being asked of us. Uh, blind, you know, blind tasting arguably has become more important. I would say, but now and again, it's just nice to to test yourself. But more than testing yourself, put the whiskies on test. How much are these actually worth? How much enjoyment am I actually getting out of these? And the only way you can do that is to to pour yourself some blind stuff. Wow, there's a there's a there's a mystery, mystery. The mystery man is here. The mystery man is here. You take that one. I mean, I literally like um, the, the first I, I saw of of, of work was the other day on on your stream when he gifted fifty um, subscriptions to your patron stream, and it, it, it was just so such astounding. I text Ben and said, "There's just a guy turned up who's just done this," and everyone under underneath was being like, "Like like Graham Wook, there it is, and here comes the Wook." <laughs> I mean, thank you so much, man. That's, that's absolutely astounding. You don't know who this guy is, right? We have no idea. Uh, the conspiracy theories have started who it might oh, be or mystery but woman as Charlie put says forward yeah. so far are either uh, well off and tight with their money or not so well off <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're we're just trying to work out who and he has to be in Europe because he's obviously the um you know the the donations are coming in in euros but let's let's raise a wee glass to our mysterious Absolutely. but very generous friend we're enjoying this mystery of the book, right? Absolutely. When we keep saying he, we should say they, they and them. And, and t until further information is provided. But thank Cheers you so much. That's, that's utterly incredible. I'm um, I'm I'm floored by the generosity of that. Floored by it. Yeah. Can I? Uh, can I also say thank you, Ben? Two of these whiskies are ones I've wanted to try. As well. There you go. And and the one you said earlier um, that you've got a full bottle of that you haven't opened yet, you ranked that last. So, um, and that, yeah. but by the end, that came up first or second, thankfully. Okay. <laughs> Otherwise, that was not getting opened ever. <laughs> oh. I have none of these, and the only one I've tried is the lock, the Crofton Gear, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I put it second favorite, and I chose the Glen Cadden as my favorite tonight. Mm -hmm. So, Wait, did you say the only one of these you've tried? Yeah, the only one of these. Oh, sorry, that's not. That's not. I've actually got Andalusia, the Glen Cadam on the shelf right now. I think I have. Yeah, Ben, he beat us that much without even knowing what they were. I haven't had any experience. Cheers, Cheers to Jesse for that uh, super chat as well, man. Thank you very much. That's um, that's really kind of you. Appreciate that. 
good to see some um, US guys jumping in. I know I go early. I go a bit early, so um, I've got to love this. Yeah, it, I mean the the Glen Cadam actually was a was a last minute addition, and I'd already bottled up the first four um, because the truth. So truth be told, look okay, here's some information for you. I was gonna have a different fifth bottle, fifth bottling, um, but uh, but the bottle didn't come through in time. So um, and I was panicking about. I mean, this, these bottles came to you guys probably what Saturday. Even Jeff got his on Saturday um, <laughs> down in the in the in the sticks. So if I'd have left it any later to send them than I did, it would have been yesterday or today, and that is too stressful for me. So uh, I just I bagged up something. And actually, when somebody asked me, um, I was quite careful about these. I made sure none of these are on my channel. None of these were uh, have been on my de uh, delivery on Discord. Shout out to Discord. Please do join Discord. It links are below. Um, none of them are on my whiskey base, apart from the Reserva Andalusia. So, so you did you did try to be very sneaky. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> you put because, great yeah. effort into being sneaky. Did, so put, me benching your channel for the last three weeks has made no difference. None. <laughs> None at all. Yeah. I mean, and there was a few people that aren't on the stream now that are in the chat. Uh, Graham specifically, um, who I think was, uh, this is his first blind tasting and he was very much just like, um, I think it might be in the channel. And that, that was the only clue I gave him. I said, look, I just want to tell you that you're barking up the wrong tree there, dude. Don't, you know, <laughs> they're, they're not on the shelf behind me. That's all I'll say. They're not on the shelf behind me. <laughs> I do love looking at people's shelves and the thing, and I feel really bad about mine. I'm, I'm at the moment moving moving home, and I'm just going through all your shelves. I, I can see the uh, Glasgow 1770s, the Belize rum. That really interests me that you got behind you. I love. I just love looking at people's shelves. Going, well, I want to try that. I want to try that. Mm. Try that. I want to try that. Well, isn't that the thing about it? I mean, I've got a few friends that are um, into into whiskey, obviously, like you know, around me now, and I can compare. Like, I mean, like Ben's probably a good example that we we've got we've got lists of each other's whiskeys, and there's hardly any crossover, despite each of us having. Well, there is one huge commonality: IKEA. IKEA. Yeah. <laughs> well, that. Well, I mean. Oh man, now Ben's too posh. Ben's too no, posh. No, 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 no. He, he's no, got the upgrade no. one. He's got the upgrade one. It's because I had enough Glen Scotias and Feta Cairns that they didn't fit in the in the um oh fuck Calax. The Calax. Yeah. They didn't fit wait, in the wait, Calax. Wait, Calax. 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 <laughs> well, I don't know where I'm pointing on the actual live stream, but uh, the rest of us oh. have got Calax behind us. Sorry, Ben. Yeah. Just but, a thanks yeah. to Danny as well for that super chat, man. Really appreciate that. He says, it's great to see Roy getting tested. Getting tested and triumphing, you know, uh, yeah. solidifying yourself as the king Fuck of... you, Roy. Finally, you pass through it all. Say nothing virtually that you wouldn't say face-to-face, -face, Mr. I'm Scott pretty sure, I'm pretty sure. I, I was going to say, <laughs> man, if, 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 you've been, if you've been in a pub with Ben for any length of time, he holds it back for streams. <laughs> <laughs> I think, to be fair, knowing all of you um, in real life, I think we all hold it back for streams. <laughs> Absolutely, and I, I think with, with good reason, right? We, we yeah. And it loses its impact. You you save it for special occasions. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think it's also just nice as well. One of the things I do like about this this round table is, I think I feel like you can just let it go a little bit. It's a little bit. I feel like I'm talking to you, like like you, as in the other people on the stream, more than chat. Whereas obviously with with a live stream that I've hosted before, like on say my channel, it's me and chat. I'm yeah, so you're, you're probably being a bit more respectful. That's right. Absolutely yeah, right. And let's, let's remember, we're doing whiskey. 18 plus is implicit. Yeah. So, um, And it's in the yeah. description as well. Yeah. <laughs> Importantly. All right. Yeah. In, in, we, have in, we got in, any lawyers watching? <laughs> well, we were worried about it for a while. Um, I mean, anyone who's been doing this for a long time will probably remember that there used to be a big contingent of tobacco reviewers that all got shut down overnight. Uh, when YouTube changed their rules, no monetization for anything tobacco related, and they could do that to us at any moment. You know, not not that we're in it for monetization, but you know, it helps, right? Uh, for those who are, are getting it. Um, if they shut that down, that would be a, that put us right back into the hobby mode, and would make us really question whether we're here or not. You know, um, I mean, Roy, you see how, how busy Roy is. You know, I'm, I'm not quite that busy, but I'm 
busy, so it's, it costs us time, man. So you're busy. Yeah, I'm busy. Yeah. Um, so it's um yeah. It, it's, it's, has anyone has anyone not? But do you ever meet anyone that say I'm a bit quiet? I'm not very busy. It just everyone's busy. As everyone <laughs> super busy, right? It's this, yeah. Can I ask what was the um, fifth bottle going to be? Oh, uh, yeah. You so you can. So um, I was trying to get the Filey Bay, um, and I, I but I couldn't decide whether I wanted to have their peated one and have another peated in there, or get their IPA cask. And I went, I, I was hovering over it on the buy button, but I thought the IPA would be too obvious out of compared to the rest of them. And um, putting the peated one in there would have been a snake move. Yeah, and that's what I mean. So it went, um, but I, I really wanted to put an, in, an, an English in there um, to try and do a, a bit of a curveball. But I thought having two North Americans and an English and then two Scotches would, yeah, something twigged in my brain that said, maybe don't do this and chuck in a classic. Because I, I, I realised I had no OB Scotch in there. And I thought, I, I thought you must have, surely. So thing is, the, the Filey Bay is obvious until it's blind true because yeah. i yeah. thought one of these was so obvious i literally i smelt it and was like so it was actually the um number three i smelt that and was like that's a fucking blend that is a hundred percent a blend it smells grainy and smells like cheap grain to me and i think the thing was i just wasn't expecting it to like i think you know the, the marsala cask or whatever it was someone just completely threw it because i've drunk that Mm -hmm. And I do not remember it being shite. That's the one I described as shite. <laughs> it is, yeah. I've I've paid money for that multiple times. I've bought it, drunk it, and gone back there and bought it again. But I think it's also important, Ben, to to let yourself off the hook a wee bit too. It's not just your memory of something and then sipping it in a different context. It's got so much to do with, with what you're sipping it alongside. Yeah. And I don't. Uh, yeah, mean, that's true. Like, I, don't, I don't mean sip it alongside something great to make it seem inferior, or the opposite way around, something poor to make it seem better. I'm just talking about different flavors can really upset the way you and, and engage with another whiskey. It's crazy how they change. Um, so you know, never ever, you know, I would say never beat yourself up for a for a blind flight that catches you out, where you declare something terrible that you once loved, or vice versa. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what whiskey is doing to us every single day. Well, not every day. Drink responsibly. <laughs> Maybe every other day. <laughs> every third day. Maybe on, every on, not other every day. day. Not every day. <laughs> well, I, one, one, of, one of the things that we've I've got this. Uh, I'm sorry to plug myself. <laughs> That's okay. Go, go uh, this it, week, yeah. I'm finally doing the five whiskey challenge that everyone was doing about two or three years ago. Mm. Uh, but I'm gamifying it. We're going to Pete's going to join us. Sorry, uh, not Pete. Uh, Jeff's going to join us. <laughs> Um, on Thursday night and uh, a couple of other folk to have a bit of fun because we're going to gamify it a little bit. Um, but I for completely forget where I was going to go there. I was talking about the, oh, the, the, the nomenclature, right? The opener is the daily sipper. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's, you have to take that based on it's, it's the, the intent behind it rather than the literal name, a daily sipper. I, I hope that the majority of us are not having or feeling the need to sip daily, right? Um, <laughs> yeah. well, I, I, I've, I've been well at it of recent. I've been and the same one each day as well. I think we've gone past that too. Yeah, right? that's right. That's right. So it's it's you have to dismiss what it's called. Um, you know, we don't have something. Guard whiskey. Uh, but, but... Guard whiskey. TM. Sorry. <laughs> guard my my guard whiskey trademark uh, appendant. That's what I always say. It's the, it's the cheap one, the reasonably priced one, the good tasting one that you put in front of all of your expensive. All the special stuff. Yeah. Guard whiskey. And it's and it's a good, very good name for it. Absolutely is. Um, Problem is, you then have a mate over or something. You go, oh, do you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get one of the good ones from the back. Oh, yeah, but you're not protecting you it reach, from your mate. You get a few of the good ones out, then you get steam in and just put them in front of the guard whiskeys. And then your good ones become your guard whiskies from the shit ones. So you rattle through all your good ones, and then you go back to your shelf, and you realise you've tanned all your good ones. It's all right. I know there's good stuff at the back. No, there's not. <laughs> it's, it's, only, it's only the neglected guard whiskies, <laughs> which is absolutely true. Occasionally, you do find an unopened bottle of a gem at the back, right? 
and it's like it's like mm-hmm. finding a twenty quid note in your laundered jeans. Right? <laughs> it's just amazing. I've got a relevant one of them because I'm clearing out the house. I was going through all the cupboards, and this I haven't even opened yet. I was just like, <gasps> sure, oh, oh. hold up to the camera. Oh, Ooh. I was literally drinking that like th- two Yesterday, nights ago or something yeah. that I'd found. I've, I've heard of that brand. Where have I heard <laughs> that before? I oh, know. I just could, I just felt I was clearing out. I'm like, have I not opened this? I've been looking forward to this for ages. Actually, I think I will do that in honour of tonight. Is yours open yet, Dan? It's about to be. Let's open it together. Yeah. What do we think? Yeah, I think it's going to be a beauty. Shall we? Yeah, I'm in on that. Hang on, have, you, have you not even tried this before? Oh, no. I mean, it'd be rude I, if I, I didn't enjoy this. All right, I'm going to reach for mine. Who, who are yeah. you asking? I'm, for I'm just going to sit here. This is embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to I'm going to pour you. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to fill all of these empties from tonight, Pete, with no nonsense whiskey samples and send them back to you. Because then I don't even need to change the labeling on it. <laughs> you just oh, keep it. It's so already branded. Elmore, the Aberfeldy, the McMira, another McMira. Now I can confirm that. The no nonsense whisk and the Aberfeldy were my two favourites, dude. I, I've got to say, I mean, I, I know everyone on online probably knows this story already, but when I when I picked this um, this McMira, I, the first two I did on my own back. I was sent some samples and I picked two samples out of ten, and those became the bottles. I thought a good reasonable way to do it, but then I realised I was putting whiskey out that was that was me. And um, for the next one, I wanted it to be community based, which is why anyone who's got the bottle can see that, that there's names all over it and these are people that are uh you know patron subscribers and people that pre-ordered it you know before that they before it was even in bottle uh maybe not it was definitely in bottles before it was labeled at least um but what i did was i got got a group of people of um of four 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 people together in a in a group chat and we tried four five different samples from mcmira all different kinds and we went through them all the first two were like sherry third second uh, of Third and fourth were bourbon. And we were drinking them going, these are good. We like these. These are good. The fifth one was this one. And all of us tried it. All of us fell into silence. No one wanted to say it first. I said it. And I was like, I think this might be the one. And every single other person was like, this is the one. And the call was over. We bottled it. It's fantastic when it goes that way. Yeah. But it's... um. I just say X bourbon Of course it is. Yeah, Look at it's a three, three years old, um, but it was a thirty liter cask, so it got it got a bit of extra juice out of it. Fifty nine point six percent, and as, at the time of bottling, I don't know if it is now, but some bottling it was the highest strength McMira that was commercially available. Fifty nine point six percent. I can't it's, think of any that are higher. No, I still I still haven't found one that's higher. But it was it sat on the list. We had we had a list of twenty or thirty of casks we could choose from. And it had been sat on the list. It got bottled. Actually, it's not on the thing here. It got bottled something like, um, I want to say 2020. So it was, it was bottled a year before I picked it up. Nobody wanted it because it had three years old on it. And I, and I was like, I, as soon as I saw it on the list at 59%, I was like, I want to try that. Send it over. Mm. Yeah. Uh, what an incredible experience it was picking that. Best it smelled you know, like I... cucumber, <laughs> which in like a really good way. Like, if anyone's ever been to a spa and had cucumber water, <laughs> obviously there are other places you can get cucumber water. This is the only place I remember ever consuming cucumber water. So, so are you drinking drink this now, Ben? You was that? Are you drinking this now? Yeah. And you're getting cucumber water. I'm getting I'm getting heaps of creamy custard, vanilla. It's really quite thick. There's a lot of body to this. It's hiding its age very, very well. Mm-hmm. Super malty, fragrant, custard cream even. It's a because it's a thirty liter cask. The age is a slightly different thing. It's one. Of, it's also one of the favourite things I like about. It. If you want to, like everyone wants to do their own cask. Yeah, you know, what two hundred liter cask? That's loads. It's the beauty about McMira. You get a thirty liter cask. If they're half litre bottles, you still only get a maximum of fifty odd bottles. It's a great way to have your own bottling. 
it's one of the few whiskey regrets that I have. I know I was new to joining like Vin's Discord at the time it was happening, and Macmira is not a whiskey that I really gelled with. Mm. So I was a bit like, yeah, and I would like to just like get involved, but it's not really a whiskey for me. And then to this day, I'm just looking at my list now. That's the highest scoring like I've personally scored Macmira by a long way. Like the one below it's the Grand T, and there's three. Oof. Out of a hundred points, there's like twenty-eight points between the two. For, Not for to promote it for you, Vin, because I know it's all sold out. But yeah, it's done. Yeah, literally. I mean, when this bottle's finished now, uh, I've just seen it. Um, who was it that opened up their bottle? Dan, did you open it up? And Roy. Oh, and Roy. Oh, there you go. That's two more bottles that are open. Um, the only one left on my shelf now is the number one bottle, and that'll be handed to well, either my daughter when she's eighteen to do what she wants, or if I die and it gets cleared out, that's the only time that'll get opened. So, do you uh, have number one of all of your excellent, excellent whiskey? Yeah, I've got number one of all of my of all of my bottles. It was part of my demand for all of them um, to make sure I had the number one because I didn't want that. What I didn't want it to do is end up on auction sites, and all three of these bottles have ended up on an auction site now, and all three of them have undercut the original RRP, which I'm very happy about because it was never about money making. Um, yep, the same happened. The same happened to mine. People naively bought them and stuck them in the auction. You know the, the people that are playing auction sites, they're like Aqua Who. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know yeah, it's like what? Yeah, so, I went, I went as well for our bottling. Set. So it's a club that no one's ever heard of, really, and a distillery more than likely no one's ever heard of as well. That's the aim of what we do sometimes. Yeah. Why did you auction that? It's meant to be drunk. <laughs> yeah. I admit yeah. some people do have financial reasons why they need to, and I don't have a problem with that. It's your own bottle, do with it as you will. But those who think you're going to make money out of someone that makes something just to be drunk and explored. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a difference between a random appearance of a bottle for the reasons you mentioned there, Dan, and also the appearance of the bottle a month after they've gone out on public sale and sold out and, and where, they've, where they've been bought a wee bit cynically. But you know what? It's just part of whiskey. And I would rather have these problems than not have them. Why? Because if we didn't have them, whiskey wouldn't be in demand. Yeah. And it, there wouldn't be a buzz. There wouldn't be a freeze on excitement, a zeitgeist about it. It would just, we need to just roll with these dynamics and just work as a community to find ways around them. Vin's done a great job tonight because he's given us five. I, I, without exception, I'll say actually, there's no exceptions here. I know that Ben had bothered with one of them, but for me personally, given the prices that he's put this fight together for tonight, it's exceptional. Exceptional. So if we all end up broke in a minimum wage job, pushing trolleys in Tesco or something, there are still whiskies out there that can mean we can still enjoy this thing in this community. And well, there's definitely four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? What did we get? Did we work out what the shiter was? It was the Croft and Jay didn't like. Yeah. So that was the peated one. Yeah. Was that? Yeah. David, David. David Marsala. David. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. No, that just did not. That. That did not excite me. So I thought that because as soon as I smelled it, I thought it was a blend. Assumed it was the black bottle. That's why I was pissed off about the black bottle because I actually really like black bottle. <laughs> like I've got. Th three of the five expression th there's like five core super cheap expressions you can get your whole your hands on and i've got like three of them and i think they're all great for if you can get them for like the 18 quid or whatever they're one of these morrison's jobs where you walk in and someone's gone ah, just not a tenner off that so i got yeah i got well, none well, tonight's, of those tonight's black proved that you, like that you still quid. love black bottle right what's that Tonight has proved that you still love Black Bottle. Yeah, absolutely. I yeah. rated it. I think. Oh, okay. You put it so as fourth. One. So yeah, but <laughs> Finn, you said earlier that you thought I was going to buy some of these. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I actually genuinely thought you'd be into that Indiana for thirty. Right. Quid. So okay. Out of out of those, which ones did you think that I would be into enough to buy? The Indiana, I thought. Um, and then I, I actually I thought the Murray McDavid, truth be told, really, yeah, because uh, I know you're you're a, a man of Pete, and I know that um, when a bargain comes along, you're uh, you know you're not a man to shy away from it. Same as Jeff. Jeff likes it. Well, actually, that's not true. Jeff doesn't like a bargain. He likes a discount. 
put a percentage next to it. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So. So Could be yeah. 200 pound, but because it was 300, I'm gonna buy it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I'm a sucker for a yellow label when it comes to Tesco's. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm the same. Okay, so Vin, if I told you I've bought two, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, so it, knowing what I know now, no, I, I told you at the beginning of this stream, I've got I'll, I'll, I opened Master of Malt and I had it, yeah. not a sponsor, and I had it sat on my other monitor. I, I think you've bought the black bottle and the Canadian now. But I own the black bottle. Oh, okay. Well, definitely the Canadian one. Yeah, you you voted that top. Yeah. Or maybe you bought two Canadians. <laughs> no, I didn't buy two Canadians. Go on. Tell me. Tell me. The yeah. Canadian and the Indiana. Because okay, I own the Andalucia. I own the black bottle. And I and thought you... the Myron McDavid was pesh. So. There you go. I was right, right, than, right. So those four, other than the Myron McDavid, for like 30 quid. I dare say top shaggers. Top shaggers. <laughs> right? Th those four were fantastic for the money. The Mario McDavid, not so much. I, I mean, someone somewhere, that will be their favourite whiskey. Someone somewhere, that Mario McDavid, for the money they paid, they'll love it. Yeah. yeah. yeah it was my favourite tonight. No, that's not true. I put it second, didn't I? Yeah, you but put the Glen Adam one first. Of my yeah. Which I've, I've proves the point that we made earlier. People's opinions can be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's, right. That's right. So what was number five? Because I think Boy, I've underscored myself. The Andalucia. Yeah. Wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. It was, yeah. So, uh, so Jeff, you voted. Uh, you were Indiana first, Glen Adam second, Crofton G a third, Black Bottle fourth. Canadian last. So again, people can be wrong, right? Because that Canadian is <laughs> astounding. Um, and only yeah. Ben voted that top. So oh, the yeah. Canadian. Yep. Yeah. Uh, four, four people voted it second. Dan, Codger, Amy, Graham. But what have we, as in me and Vin, what have we been talking about for these last two weeks? So pretty much Bourbon. exclusively. Bourbon, because I've 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 made it my personal mission to break Ben's Scotch habit and get him into bourbon, and it's been and what are these successful. that I have on my desk? I've done Ben a blind tasting of bourbon, which we were going to do privately, but maybe we should do that not so privately. I mean, well, that if you're going to do an English would... flight on St George's night, then you have to kind of do Fourth of July type. I don't know yeah. round table of bourbon. Okay. And, that sounds and... like someone's uh, asking to host there. <laughs> well, you should probably get an American in to, to host well, it. Well, right? I, I would love it, and we've well, um, dodged so, ten out of ten. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would Not say so. Um, if if anyone's watching this and you are a, a whiskey tuber, the the way this will uh, is the idea to work is that we organise it through my Discord channel, which um, you should definitely be part of because there we've got a, a, a subsection that's hidden from the the general pop of of the Discord for whiskey tubers where we can chat. Uh, and kind of collaborate and and do what we can um but the idea is to hand this over each month to someone different and and whatnot so if you are interested to host this or to be part of it or be on it that's the place to be because i'm not i'm not going to chase people down i did chase roy down for this because i wanted him to be on the blind uh, and he's very discord shy but um everyone else is um is you've got to be there i'm not going to chase people down so Get on there, and we're, you, you you can be on it, and you can host it, and you can be part of the the blind tastings or whatever we do in future. So yeah, the, the idea isn't to kind of cut people out. The idea isn't to um, ignore anybody in the world. But yeah, for US people, absolutely one hundred percent. If you are watching this and you are interested in it, let me know, and I can hand over some assets to you to get you. I mean, even Freed. Yep. I mean, he's in China, right? But Freed Freed could yeah. host a a Fourth of July thing. He would probably go to jail for it, but <laughs> <laughs> VPNs are a wonderful <laughs> thing, man. <laughs> yeah. But he, you know, that's that's an, that's an option right there. I think it'd be yeah. a, a cool thing to do, and and we're just we're just past St. Patrick's, of course. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I find the the bourbon one really interesting because that, that's where I started my journey, in my, like teenage years, early twenties. That's how I got into whiskey. It started off as everyone does, JD and Coke, or a lot of people do. And I remember going to a club, asking for a JD and Coke and getting um, a bullet and Coke, and just going, oh, this is so much better. 
like why didn't anyone tell me that they were flavors that they're like different ones and that's where i went to uh, how i got into all of this and then it went over to scotch and because of summerton it got a hell of a lot more into single malts and now i actually sometimes struggle to go back and it kind of annoys me it's like this was this was everything and i'd love to be able to like find where those parts and those flavors are that i still enjoy um it's just a really interesting area because there's such different flavors to uh, excel at and then you've got rye that's just a whole other bag which i'm I warming uh, you know um, what ask me three months ago i wouldn't have touched rye oh I literally couldn't get past it yeah i'm struggling still but it needs now, a, it needs an, it needs investment doesn't it Mm -hmm. but there's a couple of ryes i'm not going to name names a couple of ryes that really put me off rye there's other ryes which i'm now like mate you know maybe rye just ain't so bad controversial yeah. opinion coming go the on rye that you have to try i think it's the the best rye for anyone who's trying to get into rye transition just the best is a scotch rye Ooh, I'm interested. Which one, there's two that I can think. Of. One, I think, yes, completely, and then the other one. Ooh. Well, we're both. I know, Dan. We're both thinking. So we don't like Ben's set the example. We don't need to name names, yeah. um, but hopefully you can name the one that you're really loving. Say that, and right. I'll try, I'll grab the bottle at the same time. Have you, has he got a massive stopper at the top? <laughs> well, um, uh, while you're grabbing Roy's that, I'll say his, his house. It's I'll the say, thank Scotch you. whiskey lightsaber, right? <laughs> Yeah, it's there. I still don't know what it is. Yeah, the Rylaw. Yeah, uh, I have to be honest. You know, maybe don't run out and buy this because it's a hundred and ten quid still at mm. retail. It, the The price needs to drop. They need to find a price that makes this accessible to the people who will promote it, the people who will appreciate just how bloody good liquid this is. Uh, one hundred and ten pounds is far too expensive. There's already been lots written about it, lots said about it, but this is beautiful liquid, Ben. I'll, do you want a wee drop of this? I do. I'd love some, mate. Yeah, I'll send some. That's Hero. interesting that you say the best rye was a scotch, because for me, I really d enjoyed diving deep into rye, and that was because of Toad, the Oxford, the Oxford. Arts, yeah, and their anniversary rye was like fizzy strawberry sweets, and that got me then down the rabbit hole of all the, like, the bullet rye, the... You need a transition. Like you need something yeah. that can gently lead you into that spice, that oddness, that grassiness. Some people get pickled ginger. Some people get lime. Uh, some people get like a soapy potpourri thing. Other people's get, uh, what is it, the pickle th uh, herb, d dill pickle. See, I, I get the, the soap. I find uh, some rye are so soapy, like pet, almost like petrochemical soapy. I can't do it. But then others, and I think it's if you augment it with a little bit of another grain, it almost like tricks my brain into seeing a different like path for it. But yeah, there, there's a there's a couple of rye which I've tasted and I, it just doesn't taste like whiskey to me. It tastes like something I clean my floor with. I know. There will be some single malts that are like that. There'll be there are bourbons that are like that. It's like, I think I, with rice, but there's there's some there are some whiskies which are a mixed mash bill where even if it's five percent rye, I can taste it and go, that has got rye in it, and that's all it's like people with coriander. You no. know, start like yes. I can put like a single leaf of coriander in a massive bowl of salad. And my wife will smell it from the other side of the room and go, <laughs> that is that is disgusting. Because she she is sensitive to the coriander thing. Now I'm I'm sensitive co to coriander, but I really like it. Now, I some love rye, it. I'm I fine with. It. Other rye, not. Hands well, up this who, is, this who can is eat the, coriander. The the rye in this, just you know, if you were a rye lover, if that was your preferred thing, you wouldn't go for this. But there that but if you were rye shy if you were uh, if you had that reaction like your wife does of the coriander leaf you would pick it up in this but it is because of the mash bill because of what this liquid is it is unique and it's it's scotch 
it's at the end of the day, it's still scotch. Not as we know it, you know, they have to call it single grain, but um, it is just unique liquid. Mm -hmm. To bring it out in gilded packaging, 110 quid was such a blunder, such a blunder. All they had to do was make it accessible and we'd, we'd, it would just be lighting the place up. Yeah. We'd all have been so excited about it. Um, I'm still excited about it. You know, I've taken a hit. I paid the money. I paid £110 for a bottle of it. Glad to have it on the shelf. I've had it enough times around the tastings and things. It's really good liquid. Uh, I hope that they've learned a lesson and they're going to have a bit more humility about their next release. My, my, but so it's you know in the first year of releases you're allowed. I give a, a distillery a little bit more leeway on the pricing. It's once you get into the second year of releases. That's well, no, I, 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 you're you're absolutely spot on. Help them, especially with their inaugural, get their capital back, but not when they're spending. How much do you think this bottle cost? Forty quid a bottle? <laughs> Come on! I mean, this yeah. cork. That is a murder weapon. We could play Cluedo <laughs> with this, yeah. you know. You know, it was Roy in the dining room with the, <laughs> the Engineerney bottle stopper. You know, I got lucky enough. My friend has uh, had a bottle of um, Sazerac eighteen that he bought in the days when it was ninety pound a bottle, and his view is these are here to be drunk, and he let me have it, and that just checked. Like I like rye anyway. Now I have this aim of where I want rye to go because I've tried that once and it's heavenly. And I even I tasted some casks a while ago from a, an unknown rye distillery, and uh, they they were eight nine years old. And I, oh, this is the closest I've ever tasted to it. And so I went and bought the casks. But like, I don't know if you're going to bottle these late enough. But like, I want these for another five years because this is what I believe rye can be at its very, very best. You take all those spicy notes and you treat it like a well-aged scotch. You su make them subtle. So the aniseed is this little bit in the background that you can, just a hint, and ah, oh, this, this is my aim, just to be able to share it. And I've got it for a club bottle in years' time because it just, that for me is rye at its very, very, very best. Um, and I want that, for, I want everyone to experience that. Um, and so, yeah, get it with early in the hope that I can bottle it at a price that is affordable because rye should be on everyone's radar, in my opinion. Affordable, I like the way you talk then. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's whiskey needs to be. It's We all want to be able to enjoy it. If we keep on having to spay, spend two, three, four, or it sounds like 18,000 as opposed to hundreds on a bottle, what are you going to do? Buy one and that's it for your life. Whereas I, I think you get your favourite bottle, you've got to be able to go back again a year later, two years later, and be able to enjoy that for life and share that with friends because that's what it's for. It's for sharing. If I spend a grand on a bottle, I'm going to struggle sharing that one. And that's the, it's the opposite of what whiskey's for. Whiskey is for having a group of people together and talking about it, sharing about it, sharing your, what's going on in the week. That's why you need it to be affordable. Yeah, completely agree. I think that's probably a good sentiment to uh, wind us up. I um, envisioned it about 90 minutes to two hours, and I think we're bang on there, uh, hour 45. So um, I know I'm, I'm okay till about, what, half past 12 normally? <laughs> yeah. <All right. laughs> well, well, what we normally do, Roy, is um, a, Discord a Discord after party, which I guess, you know, I might be able to force you in there one day, maybe as a, under a pseudonym. But um, it's like a live stream with the uh, with the gloves off almost uh, because the guys who are watching can jump in on video as well. And uh, that's always good fun. So it's, I, I, it's usually really good fun. It's usually good fun. Yeah. So um, I dropped a link in the uh, into the comments. Um, anyone who wants to join is more than welcome. It's an open house. It's very friendly, um, very collaborative, very chatty. Well, I and... do have a Discord account. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Oh. So everyone strap in for a good midnight with um drink with Roy then because join join it join it. Anyway, um I'll say a massive thank you to you Roy for, for coming on obviously uh, and for for showing us what this blind tasting is all about. Um Ben as always. Broken clock. You broken clock, yeah. Ben as always good to see you buddy. Um as a reminder Ben's going to be hosting the next one. Pleasure so, as always dude, looking forward to it. Good, good. Dan, thanks for coming buddy. Thank um, you. 
you know, it's a, it's a humbling experience, the blind tasting, right? So <laughs> I've loved it. I, uh, as soon as I realised I'm going to be rubbish at this, the fact I got four right. Oh, I'm on fire. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and Jeff, uh, uh, thanks for joining again, man. Three for three. Oh. Hopefully you'll be there for Ben's as well. But... No, that's great. Cheers for having me and cheers you for the free whiskey. Care. Yeah, well, absolutely. That's what it's about. Share and Thank share. you, Ben, for hosting this, by the way. you, you Obviously, you sent us a lot of whiskey and we really do appreciate it. It's good juice. That's Cheers right. to Vin. Cheers. I'll take that. Thank you, man. Cheers. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Um, and thanks for, you know, all the super chats and support. It's been amazing. I'll see you again on the next one.